This next comedian has done stand-up overseas at an American military base. Oh, my. And um, she was in the Laugh Riot Girl Festival. Uh, I was there, too. Great festival, which is right here at Dow. And she is delighted to be back here at Dow. Please welcome to the stage my dear friend, Lindsay Loon. Sorry, I have no sex life. This is going to take a moment. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe that's why. <laughs> um, so I just flew back into L.A. a few hours ago, and I am so thrilled to be here. Um, mostly because you guys are freaking awesome, but also because I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I always think I'm going to die on a plane, just always. And I used to live in Australia and Japan, and that is a long ass flight, yo. Those are really, really long ass flights. Um, but you know, I'd be going to, to Australia and I'd think, forget about the killer spiders. I just don't want to die in a fiery crash on the way there. Give them a chance to bite me, you know? Man, one time coming back from Japan, I had a middle seat in between two sumo wrestlers. 11 hours. And I'm a squishy person. You know, my body type is cuddle, right? <laughs> so I looked at me, and I looked at the sumo wrestlers, middle seat, and I thought, yes, airbags. <laughs> this is not fat, this is prepared. This aisle is bubble wrapped. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so I've got two very different sides of my family. One side of my family says, there's no tomorrow. And the other side of my family says, there's no tomorrow. Yes. Because I'm Jewish and half hillbilly. Uh. I'm a Jew Billy. <laughs> my father's family's from the mountains in North Carolina. And my mother's is from 5,783 years of Jewish suffering. <laughs> but it's actually fun being a Jew Billy. Shut y'all I can hunt squirrels and bargains I take my matzo balls bacon wrapped and our yarmulkes say God bless NASCAR Baruch Hashem that's right that's the jubilee way y'all um, many people have told me that I don't look Jewish I don't even look Jewish-ish um, my grandmother told me often you look like such a shiksa yeah, I've, I've heard it a lot. Uh, the hillbilly jeans are strong, you know? I'm all moonshine on the outside. But my soul is Manischewitz. Manischewitz strong. Um, so like I said, I love, I love traveling. I'm a wandering Jubilee, Australia, New Zealand, Japan. And uh, my dad was not impressed with my moving around. He said, damn it, Lindsay, pick a place. It looks like you're running from the law. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I had fun overseas. And my parents are actually the reason that I got to go overseas because I started studying Japanese and they just encouraged me to go and do study abroad programs. So I did six study abroad programs. <laughs> All homestays. I lived with six Japanese families as a teenager. And then I realized my parents are just outsourcing parenting. <laughs> to Asia. <laughs> but it was really fun, man. The hospitality was amazing, great experiences, and only one homestay family actively wanted to kill me. <laughs> they booby, the, the, uh, the homestay dad was a little odd, and he, he booby-trapped my room. It was, it was very weird, and I asked him, why is my futon on the other side? He would, he would take it from the, ca the uh, cabinet and, and like do this elaborate ritual at night, and he'd put it under this giant wardrobe. And he said, oh, don't worry about it. We're on a big fault line, and when we have an, all an earthquake, you'll be the first to die. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not that bad because it's like, look, there were four weddings and a funeral, right? I had four, five homestays and one hitman. 
<laughs> That's pretty good odds. When I was in Japan, I loved going to the Japanese baths. Does anybody take advantage of the Korean baths here in Korea in Koreatown? Yeah, you go to the Asian baths. Some of you are clean and cultured. Yeah, or you just like seeing naked people. Because there's a lot of naked people. In a traditional Asian bath, you go in, everybody ends up in the bath together. But it's not a big deal because everybody's naked. Except in Japan, sometimes I was the only foreigner, so I'd get a few glances. And one day, this little old lady was staring at me. And her eyes were up and down my body like a paint roller. <laughs> and I looked over at her. I realized she was like 100 years old. I thought, respect your elders, look away. But before I did, I noticed that her breasts were amazing. They were heavy with history. They were pendulums of time. Look, man, game recognized game, y'all, you know? And she came swinging over to me. You really are white. Zip that all over. Ooh, I felt seen. And then I spent nine years learning Japanese just to tell you all that joke. <laughs> Commit to the bit. Yes. Do you guys want to hear my favorite phrase in Japanese? Okay. Chichiyoya no on wa yama yori mo takaku, umi yori mo fukai. And that means respect your parents, damn it. That's my dad's voice. My dad's voice just pops up in my head. Um, I do like strong voices, though. My mom has a friend named Charlotte who doesn't say the R. It's Charlotte. <laughs> she has an old-timey voice, and I feel like she may have escaped the Titanic. <laughs> I thought she was from Maine, but I might have misheard it. Maybe the Mayflower. <laughs> Charlotte. And my mom's an eye surgeon. She's very serious about her work, but she can sometimes be a little scattered in life things. And we got lost on the way to a dinner party at Charlotte's house. We get there. Charlotte throws open the door and says, you're late. And my mom says, oh, I'm so sorry we got lost. And Charlotte said, of course you did. You could get lost in a paper bag. <laughs> when you open up someone's eye to do surgery, do you get lost in there? <laughs> And then she turned on me, and she said, my God, what happened to you? Both your parents have such healthy color, but you're practically an albino. <laughs> then we went to dinner, we went to sit down for dinner. It's a stew, it's beautiful. I say, Charlotte, this is so delicious, but is it all dark meat chicken? And she says, oh, it's not chicken. And I thought, oh my God, what is it? And she said, it's rabbit. And without thinking, I gasped, because part of the reason that we had been late was I'd been feeding our little bunnies. And I said, oh, we have rabbits. And she said, don't be ridiculous, darling. It's not your rabbit. <laughs> so just remember when things go wrong, you know, sometimes it's not your rabbit. <laughs> and every day there's not a plane crash is a good day. I'm Lindsay Loon Official on Instagram because I'm Lindsay and I'm officially a loon. Thanks, y'all.